Hey everybody, um, this is uh, video number three. So if you got uh, on church deception, if you guys haven't watched the number two and number one, go ahead and watch it so uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I had that dream, right? And those booths represent denomination of believing religion, you know, all sorts of religion and beliefs or whatever. And the booth that I was paying attention or I was observing is Christian, a Christian belief. And um, in there, there was two people. One represent the wise and one represent the foolish. And the one on uh, the left that was uh, sitting was the foolish and the one on the right standing was the wise. The, wi the wise one, the the legit, the, the true information of God is impopular. It's not popular. So he did not sold a lot of, um, the. it was a fair and the people represent the world. The, uh, people walking around is basically trying to buy buy stuff buy knowledge and wisdom they're trying to buy stuff for their souls you know what i mean like knowledge and wisdom to fill their souls you know to whatever and so um uh the other the one on the right he was not really good at it like but he was trying his best to do the work of god and the work of god is not popular and the one on the left he was the foamy stuff and he made everything more colorful and attractive and he was trying to deceive people under it and uh yeah check out that video and this basically covers uh the wise and the foolish vir virgin if you haven't checked that out check out uh the parable of the ten virgin talking in the bible okay the the, the wise one have the holy spirit and the foolish does not and uh, this relates to me speaking in tongue. It's all chained together. And how God had to uh, let me de be deceived to understand his message, what he's trying to have me understand. Because, um, you know, they were talking about spiritual blindness and I did not understand. And so God had to give me a spiritual blindness about speaking in tongue for me to understand what what he meant, what, what it means is to have a spiritual blindness. Okay. So um, back in the days when... Uh, Jesus Christ walked the world, um, you know, healing the sick, heal the blind, heal the deaf, the numb, and heal the disease, cast out demons, rise from the, rise people from the dead, himself rise from the dead, born from Virgin Mary. He did all this stuff, okay? He did this and more, you guys, okay? Countless of things he did, and all the things he did, done was for the good. There was not any wicked found in him. But then, uh, yet he was crucified for the evil of woman, uh, the evil of the world. And the Roman Catholic, okay, the Roman Catholic are those people that crucified with part, the big group of leading up to this crucifixion, okay. God say, because they did not love truth, the truth was not found in them. So they are given over deception. They were oh, given over spiritual blindness, okay. What do I mean by they did not love the truth? They did not obey the words of God. They were not doing, they were lawlessness. They were not doing what God is commanding them to do. They were telling people to do them, but themselves are not doing them because they not love the truth. They're not, what they did not, what they was basically not obedience. They were lawlessness, you know what I mean? So the Bible speaks here, you know, Lord, Lord, uh, not everybody uh, who call me Lord, Lord uh, sh shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Uh, but he who does uh, the will of my father. Okay. So, um, that's why I was telling you guys, Catholics are contaminated. Okay. If, if they, if they were deceived back then and that, what make, what's, what's any different from now? I was Catholic raising up and that was, God would bring that to my mind. I was shocked. Okay. So what happened was God had to give me the false speaking in tongues so that I can, concern what's from god and what's not okay god said my sheep hears my voice the sheep hears the shepherd's voice and follow and 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 not follow if it's not from him so i have the holy spirit okay the spirit of truth and conviction he will lead me into all truth all conviction if you have the holy spirit okay you have that foundation god is not going to allow you to be deceived because you are one in one with Christ you are keeping close with Christ so he's going to inform you with things when you're doing wrong and you know you want to be a slave to righteousness and not sin and so um what happened was I was deceived 
okay i was deceived but i had the holy spirit so i was delivered from that deceivement okay if somebody did not love the truth okay if anybody in this world is doesn't love the truth they did not have the foundation that they want to walk after god and his righteousness and the things he tell us to do right here we are going to be given over to deception lies spiritual blindness and so this is the the scripture god was giving me it's okay bill on the rock therefore whoever hear these saying of mine and does them okay the things god tells right here okay um um you know do uh do good to please god as in charity you know doing things um not expecting anything back help the poor you know give money all your money and help the poor help churches just helping and praying without ceasing and it talks about fasting continuous fasting and it says lay your treasure in heaven as in give all your possession away and it talks about um you know it talks about a lot it's it's it talk about not worrying not judging pray it talks a lot about praying seeking and asking and knocking okay you got to it, basically it, all this it talks about a lot about praying and seeking the lord and and knowing god on a personal level and it's talk about the narrow gate and it says that you will know the person by its fruit okay god say okay love your enemies walk the extra mile uh, don't permit oaths and um and he talks about um adultery in the heart murder beginning the heart and uh, uh we are the, uh, the salt and the light of the world okay as in we should be evangelizing preaching the word of god okay if we're not doing this okay it says that whoever hears my saying and and, and does them okay i will liken him to uh, a wise man who built his uh, house on a rock and when the rain uh, when the rain descend the flood came and the wind blew and beat on the house and it did not fall for it is found on a rock but who for anyone who hears these things of mine and does not do them they are like foolish men who build their rock on a sand and when the rain descend the flood came and the wind blew and beat on the house and it fell and uh, and great was the fall so what is god saying you got to be doing what God's telling you to do. All this stuff in here, all the stuff I just telling you to do. Unless you're doing these things that I just told you by praying without ceasing and, and, and evangelizing and fasting and all that good stuff. More likely in getting the baptism of the Holy Spirit and, and being a reborn creature in Christ, having that foundation. You're going to give in over to deception, spiritual blindness. I was given over it so that God will let me understand what it is what it is mean to have a spiritual blindness because i was asking lord what the heck is a spiritual blindness i was like lord i don't know much about this book but i want you to teach your words to me and that's what god's doing like even though i don't know scripture by the tips and stuff like i know i don't know everything on here but i i know certain things you know like not like i don't read the whole thing but he's teaching me this bible through my daily life that's why i asked lord teach me the bible because unless you have the holy spirit you won't understand what's going on so um and that's what he's doing he he's basically you know the reason why he let me be deceived by that speaking tongue to let me what that how it feels to have a spiritual blindness but yet i have the holy spirit so the spirit will deliver me from all truth okay and god okay the Bible does speak about the Antichrist, okay? He is going to de um, deceive people. And the Bible said, if possible, he will even deceive the elect, okay? The people in Christ, Jesus Christ, okay? And a lot of uh, Christian people will be deceived by the Antichrist. That's going to bring priests, uh, peace to the world, the new government, and uh, and uh, miracles and signs. Okay, this Antichrist is basically going to do it all. And he's going to proclaim his God and a lot of people going to fall for it. It's because they did not love the truth and not doing the words of God and having the Holy Spirit and foundation. That's why they're given over deception, deceivement, spiritual blindness, like the time of Jesus Christ, like what I had uh with a speaking tongue and the churches spiritual blindness going in the churches a lot of spiritual blindness in the churches you guys so unless you're seeking god in the prayer closet as in praying without ceasing and fasting all that good stuff in the bible it tells us to do here unless that you are more likely going to walk down to hell and you don't even know it okay i have the holy spirit the holy spirit deliver me unless you have the holy spirit 
You know, you're going to be, you're going to be screwed. You know, if you don't have baptism, ask God for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. First of all, you want to walk in righteousness and you want to forsake your ways first. You know what I mean? Okay. So what, you know, in, the, in the near future, which is after the rapture, okay, a lot of people is going to give in over to this deception, spiritual blindness of the Antichrist and et cetera, et cetera, because they did not love the truth for when the truth came. They, they couldn't see the truth because they did not love the truth. Does that make sense to you? Like Jesus Christ was the truth, but they didn't love the truth. They did not love, they didn't like to obey the things God was commanding them. They loved the world. They loved sinning. They loved telling people to do it, but not doing themselves. You know, they were basically hypocrites. And so, you know, I pray. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but there are times I stay in repentance, you guys. I, I'm a hypocrite sometimes. I, I confess, you know, I, I repent and 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 uh, learn from my mistakes. You know, we're not we're not all perfect here. That's why that's why God shed the blood for our 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 sins. That's why we need to stay in repentance all day. To, when we repent, we hear God better. It's the sin that's clogging us from hearing the Lord. So repentance is needed daily. Okay, I repent right away. I don't even wait till the end of the day. Sometimes I just repent right away, get it covered out of the way. So that was like, wow, that's, you know, I don't like, wow, that is some serious knowledge and wisdom right there, you guys. Like, I know, like, God just hit me with this knowledge and wisdom, and you know, you know God is only capable of this, okay? I was watching a lot of videos. God was telling me about his spiritual blindness and deception in church. I didn't understand that. I'm like, Lord, and then I just pray, like, Lord, please help me understand your words. Help me understand what you want me to understand, and just, you know, I pray that God take care of everything. God is that faithful. So what I'm trying to tell you, unless you love the truth and seek ye the kingdom of God in his righteousness, you, yourself, is going to walk to hell and you don't even know it. Even though you thinking you walking yourself to heaven. Unless you Turn from your ways, your wicked ways, okay? 100%, give your life to the Lord. 180 degrees to left to right, okay? Forsaken the whole world and everything in it. And say the sinner prayer and mean it with your heart. Ask the Lord to come in your life and change you and give you the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth and conviction I was talking about. You are going to be deceived. 100%, 100%, you are going to be deceived unless what I just spoken and then you have to carry out with the word that the Bible teaches which I will go over one more time it says here love your enemies um, love your enemies you're not there's a lot okay it says adultery in the heart murders in the heart it says believer is a salt and the light of the world so we have to shine our light what's the point of having light and cover it so don't get okay, a lot of the Christian is embarrassed to preach the word of God okay this will cause you to be in the tribulation, you guys. Go go out there and attack those people out there. Okay, even though you can't attack them much, just try to attack one or two. You know, not attack, but try to give them the gospel. At least you can tell God that you, you were participating. You know what I mean? But, you know, or try your best. And it says, love your enemies. Go the extra mile. And it says, pray. It talks about praying a couple times. It says, fasting. Lay your treasure in heaven. It talks about charity. And do not worry. Do not judge. And, um, so, um, so basically, um, yeah, that's all I want to tell you guys. So that's it. Bye.